Hello all. So recently, I watched the latest Hashira training arc, and as always, Ufotable Studio has not disappointed. If you haven't watched the series already, then what are you waiting for? Go watch the series now. So, ranking the Hashiras has always been a trend. So why not also rank their training format? So today, we will be ranking the training that is given by the Hashiras, as it was the highlight of the season. Basically, they are all top tier. But for the sake of ranking, I have made an Excel sheet. Yes, an Excel sheet, which compiles of the basic need to the extreme abilities that is needed by the next demon slayers. The categories in which this training will be evaluated are physical abilities, speed and reflexes, stamina and durability, resilience, focus, tactical combat skills, overall effectiveness, and psychological tactics. These are the basic to extreme abilities that are needed by a demon slayer. Each Hashira gets a point in the above category according to their training format and abilities. As you might already know, there are going to be some spoilers if you haven't watched the latest series. If you have, if you are up to date, then you are good to go. So back to the point. Once received the point out of 8, they would be ranked in these 4 levels of the tier list. Starting with the best, peak, ideal and the ultimate training a demon slayer can get. I will also be giving facts about each Hashiras as we go by. So let's start with our first Hashira, the retired sound Hashira, Tengenuzo. His skills basically includes of immense strength and speed, he is said to be one of the fastest runner among the Hashiras and has enhanced hearing. That is a given as he is the sound Hashira himself. In the training arc, his was the first one, which was focused on the basic fitness and stamina where it helped the future Demon Slayer trainers to enhance their stamina by making them run multiple rounds around mountains and sparring against him. If we look at the effectiveness of his training, his training helped the Demon Slayer enhance their physical abilities, stamina, durability, resilience, practical compact skills and overall effectiveness. When it comes to speed, reflex focus and psychological tactics, that were not the aim of his training. So, in total, his training format gets a 5. Gets a 5 out of it. So, in the tire list, he will go in the 4th level. Which is the best training a Demon Slayer can get. Going to the next, Nuichiro. He is one of the most powerful Hashi and is known to be extremely talented and skilled for his age. We need to remember that he was only 14. If the, he was one of the youngest Hashira too. As even before becoming a demon slayer, he was able to overpower a demon simply using farming tools. He had become an Hashira in two months of training after picking up the sword for the first time. While an average person can take up to two to five years to become an Hashira. He was also one of the first Hashira to awaken the demon slayer marks while fighting against Kyoka. Coming to his training format, the missed Hashira training was focused on rapid movement where he helped the future demon slayers to have better body coordination to ease up the muscles while also practicing with them, sparring with them to develop their confidence while fighting against demon. If we were to evaluate the efficiency of his training, Moichiro's training has definitely helped a demon slayer training again to better their physical abilities, speed and reflex, focus, practical compact skills and overall effectiveness, while resilience not something that were in the primary focus. So total, he gets 6 points out of 8 in the chart. So in the tire list, he would come on the third level, which is the peak training a demon slayer training could get. Going on to the next Hashira is our love Hashira, Mitsuri. She is said to have super strength and endurance as a result of her abnormal muscular constitution. And she has about 8 times denser muscles as compared to a regular human being, which helps her with the extreme flexibility and strength. Mitsuri's training format was also composed of flexibility training, where she helped the demon slayers in improving their flexibility by making them dance and perform elastic moves and having them stretch their body parts to extremes with her brute strength. If we look at the chart, Mitsuri's training helped the Demon Slayers with enhancing their physical abilities, stamina, durability, resilience, practical compact skills and overall effectiveness. With that, she gains 5 out of 8. So with the 
points in the tier list she would go in the fourth level the best training a demon slayer trainee could get for just beside a sound ashram next up we have her boyfriend obhani oh, the serpent hasha is one of the new and recent character introduced to us in this season he is known to be very hard and strict individual his fighting style is not that much revealed according to the enemy right now although there were few moments in the enemy which shows his extreme physical strength in one of the scenes we could see obani pinning tanjiro down with so much strength that he wasn't even able to move or breathe He is also known for his speed and reflex, and his unlikely weight of attacking. He is one of the only Hashira who has this most unique attacking style, where he can utilize the slithering motion of a snake to to attack an impossible ways with extreme speed. So naturally, his training was also one of the unique one, where the trainees had to anticipate incoming attacks from the unlikely serpent-like fighting style. His training was one of the best training to watch for for me personally. as the intensity and tension he created for the training was one of the best it helped the trainees not only better their swordsmanship but also precision and accuracy in stressful conditions so in the chart obani's training helped the trainees with enhancing their physical abilities speed resilience focus practical combat skills overall effectiveness and my favorite psychological tactics as a trainee had to be clever like like extremely clever and tactical to be able to hit obani with that he gets a seven out of eight points so in the tier list obani goes in the second level the most ideal training to get for this year training moving on to the next one. uh hold up when i was creating this video i didn't realize that this video is going to take up so much time with editing i will be coming back with the part 2 very soon until then let me know your thoughts about this chart and where do you think the hashiras would rank in the comment section i would be dropping the link to the tier list if you would like to create your own stay tuned for part 2 i'll be back do subscribe